And this is what the schedule looks like for the Chicago Bulls. On Tuesday, it'll be the Cleveland Cavaliers coming to town. And then on Friday, the New Orleans Pelicans come to town. Here's the starting group for the Milwaukee Bucks. Giannis plays the four with Lopez in the middle. DiVincenzo and Middleton make up the perimeter. And it's Holiday in at the point. And for Chicago, Ball and Levine make up the backcourt. DeMar DeRozan is out there with Patrick Williams. And it's Vucevic in at the five, roaming the paint. For teams that were close to a title last year, Smitty, I'm sure opening night couldn't come fast enough. You're totally right, B.A. Unfinished business at hand, and they are chomping at the bit to get the season going. Unfortunately, in this league, you have only one winner. Nice shot by DiVincenzo. DiVincenzo. Ooh, an aggressive move. Takes it strong, and there's no help defensively. Pass to DeRozan. Shot from the low post is good. Right in the teeth of that defense, DeRozan explosive through contact. Here's Holiday. And the layup is good off the glass. Here's Ball. And just about a minute into this first quarter. DeRozan finds Vucevic. Good, and it's DeRozan who picks up the assist. That's good awareness from DeRozan. Spots the open man. That speaks to his all-around game. And defying the analytics trend, DeRozan's favorite shot still remains the mid-range jumper. I mean, they've tried to stretch him out with uneven results. Maybe better to surround him with three-point shooters, create space in the medium range area to maximize his effectiveness. And he lobs it. Oh, that was something else. Wow. Wow. Assisted by Dante Beyond belief. I mean, such a creative talent. And I'm not surprised to see Giannis get flashy on the finish. Here's Ball. Good work defensively by Lopez. For Milwaukee, they've gone 4-4 four four from the floor. Perfect start. DiVincenzo on the wing. Fades and shoots. Ooh, a little luck that time as it drops. And whatever coach told them coming out of the locker room, they're listening. Five out of five already. Now Levine. And Levine throw it down. An explosive high-level athlete. You see why Zach has won multiple dunk contests. And that was our AT&T 5G Slam Cam, bringing you the sauce. Here's Middleton. Anadokounmpo, outside. Clock at six. Ooh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. And a huge sigh of relief for both fans last year. Giannis signing a monster contract extension. He'll continue to be the franchise for years to come. You know, Grant, many wondered if Giannis would test free agency. Ultimately, avoided all that drama. Yeah, I mean, he wanted to stay and build a winner with the Bucks, And you know what? He did just that, bringing home the NBA championship. What a reward for the fans in the city of Milwaukee and just tremendous oh, character take a break. from Giannis. Take a break. Two shots. He misses the free throw. An MVP caliber talent. The rise of Giannis from scrawny teenager to bulked up superstar has been great to watch. White, he's checked in for Chicago. Caruso comes in for ball. And Milwaukee with a change here too. Portis, he's checked in for Lopez. That's off as well, so he misses both. One thing you gotta love about Nikola Vucevic is that on offense, he does it all. For big, he's got a terrific three-point shot. And of course, he regularly posts big point totals. Levine, good. The shooting form of Zach Levine is so pure, he's money in the bank from the Middleton outside. Pass to DiVincenzo. 
Portis with it. Now Holiday. Puts up a three. The shot off that time. And it's Chicago the other way. Well, there's no denying that Vucevic's offensive output really makes him a great example of a modern big. Yeah, his abilities at long range definitely help stretch the floor. But he can also be an old-school menace down low, gobbling up rebounds and owning the paint. Pass to Caruso. And the Bulls get it back. Tries again. Here's Vucevic. Oh, he misses the go-ahead basket. Offensively, that's how you want to end the possession, except for the result. And the shot's good. Drew Holiday. Holiday's got his second basket. That's 10 straight points they've given up in the painted area. <laughs> 52 seconds left in the first. Levine against Middleton. The rebound by the Bucks. He expects to make every one of those, and we expect him to make them, too. Anadokounmpo, the pass to Portis. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. Their defense just falls apart once the ball goes inside. Chicago trailing here. About seven seconds separating the shot and game clocks. DeRozan outside. From nine feet, good on the bucket. That kind of shot is something that DeRozan has worked hard on to make consistent. Ana de Kumpo with it. Misses from close range. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one. The Bucks on top, up two. Let's take a quick break, and then it's on to the second quarter after this. And the Greek Freak says he's feeling comfortable offensively. See the goal right now. Uh, really well. We don't play over the north. Grant, have you ever seen a big man like Giannis who dominates with the dribble drive? I I'm not sure I've ever seen that. I mean, well, Zion four inches shorter, but he might be the only other one in that category. Chris Middleton. And some good action in the books as we get back to a game that's been pretty close so far here. All right, guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for Milwaukee? Guys, their willingness to attack the basket so far has been great. They're penetrating, find the holes in the defense, and scoring from close range. Another positive has been their play in the paint offensively. On the court for Milwaukee here in the second. They've got Grayson Allen. Chris Middleton is out there with Pat Connaughton. Then there's George Hill, and it's Portis in at the center. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Ali LaForce. Thanks, Brian. Giannis Antetokounmpo talked to me about signing the extension to remain in Milwaukee. He said, my goal stays the same. Get better day by day, step by step. As long as that's what we're all focused on, why not play for the Bucks 25 years? There is no reason for me to move. Well, he certainly found a home, Ali. Good stuff there. Pass to Caruso. Outside Jones, from downtown, hits the three-pointer. And Smitty, you've been in broadcast journalism for a while now. Are there certain players you especially enjoy covering? Yeah, I enjoy covering the entire league. You know, all types of basketball. But I will say, I enjoy most covering the young guys that I've been knowing for a long time. Here's Allen. No good there. Good work defensively by White. Chicago has gone three or four from distance in this game. Jones misses. The Bucks have got two of three shots to go in the second. Allen finds Middleton. No good. A bit long that time. And for Chicago, their shooting has been great this game. 58%. That's tipped. And so it looks like the Bulls will retain possession here. Squads had loved to run. Last year's team leaders in fast break points. The fourth spot held by Milwaukee. They would just push the ball at every opportunity, even when defenders had already gotten back. Some changes for Chicago. 
Williams is checked in for White. And it's Ball in for Caruso. And Milwaukee with a change here too. Lopez is checked in. Now here's Ball. Now quiet so far offensively. Searching for his first points of the game. Bradley. And he buries his first look. This is why Lonzo Ball was drafted number two overall. Elite vision and size. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. Here's Allen. And the Bucks miss again. For Chicago, they've gotten three or four field goals in the second quarter. Williams passes to Brown. Pass the ball. Five on the clock. No good with the triple. The Bucks trail. For a player who came into the league with as much fanfare as Lonzo Ball, it wasn't the smoothest start, Grant. He dealt with a lot of injuries and adversity. NBA, that makes the NBA learning curve that much steeper. Lonzo deserves a lot of credit for how he was able to stay grounded and stay focused. He tuned out the noise and kept developing his game. Milwaukee foul. Brooke Lopez. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. At the line for Chicago, Tony Bradley taking two shots. First free throw is good. DeMar DeRozan's checked in for Chicago. Levine comes in for Brown. The Bucks making a switch here. And so he makes both from the line. And there's a minute 45 left in the first half. Holiday passes to Anadokounmpo. Holiday with the ball. This one for three. Counted from distance. Holiday's got his third bucket of the night. Way to rise to the occasion and snatch back the momentum. That's the competitor in him. Close game. Let me have this one. To the paint. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. They pin that one on Giannis Antetokounmpo. Hey, if you can't block it, sending him to the line can be the next best thing. Tony Bradley at the line for two. He's off on the first. The Bulls making a switch here. Vucevic is checked in. And he sinks the second. The Bucks have gone four for seven in the second quarter. Antetokounmpo outside. And Antetokounmpo with the stuff. Oh, showing power and grace in the air. Giannis, one of the best duckers in the game today. Levine with it. Guarded by Antetokounmpo. Little turnaround. Levine, that one's good. Levine. Levine's got seven points in the game. Uh, very clever how he creates space against a bigger defender. And that's tough to do from the mid-range because help can come from anywhere, but he beats everyone to the punch. And their offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. Ball outside. Levine passes to Vucevic. Here's Ball. That one falls. Coming off the Vucevic feed. Ball's got his first basket. Alonzo has been working on that. Shooting off the catch with confidence and without hesitation. Pass to Holiday. Here's the three. And it's Chicago with the board. <laughs> the battle of the boards has been something to watch. DeRozan passes to Ball. Down low. <laughs> The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. This is Vucevic's comfort zone. Even when the D is good, his offense is sometimes just better. So both teams making some changes here. At the line for the Bulls, Nikola Vucevic. One shot.
you love a big man like Vucevic, puts in the effort to keep improving. For example, look at what he's done with this perimeter shooting. Ananakumpo, right side. He got it off in time. He knocks it down, but wait a minute. The officials getting together here. They may want to review this one. Well, these teams are going to have to wait before heading to the locker room. They're going to bring out the monitor and see if he got it off in time. And the video is going to be sent to the officials from the replay center in Secaucus. It looked like he got it off in time, though. So the replay was conclusive. Call replay. overturn. Grant, that one's going to count. And B.A., you can argue against replay all you want. But at the end of the day, you want it to be a level playing field. You want the call to be correct. And so it's tied as we head to halftime. And we'll see you back here after the break. Third quarter action in just a bit. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. It was a closely contested first quarter for Chicago. Some good moments from both teams, but as the first period wrapped up, they trailed by two. In the second quarter, they put in the work to create a slight scoring advantage. Kenny, your thoughts on how the Bulls are playing? The bench unit was an essential part of the puzzle. They really stepped it up in a big way, and that helped out. Now the starters can appreciate not having If you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. Man, we've seen Drew Holiday really having a great game. Can they come up with an answer for him coming out of the half? They have to change something defensively. I think both sides probably adjusted a few things. The key for him is to bring the same level of energy over these last two quarters. Ball and Levine make up the backcourt. Patrick Williams out there with Nikola Vucevic. And it's DeRozan in at the three. That's the five out there for the Bulls. Throw it up to the rim and let Giannis hammer it home. Never a bad idea. Ball passes to Levine. Yep, count it. Probably a play they drew up in the locker room at half. Listen, put the ball in the hands of your best scorers and let them go to work. Keep it simple. And we talk about veterans adding to their games. DeRozan has become an excellent facilitator, something he really takes pride in. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. This Bucks team is arguably the most talented in franchise history. At the same time, the East has gotten tougher, so the Bucks are looking to improvise. Giannis said, quote, we're getting better, trying new things, changing our schemes. That's something we think is going to help us. Brian? Using the regular season to experiment, Allie. Interesting. Thank you. And DeRozan typically makes the simple pass over the flashy one. That's his style across the board. You won't see him on a ton of highlight reels for his passing, but he's about making the right play within the flow of the game. Patrick Williams. Soft defense. I mean, That's they've given up 10 of the last 12 points inside. Chicago making some changes. Jones comes in for DeMar DeRozan. And it's Caruso in for ball. Portis, he's checked in for the Bucks. Hill comes in for Drew Holiday. And that one falls for Ana Kumpo. Right around a minute and a half played in the third quarter. Here's Caruso. Oh, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Pass to Vucevic. They double-team Vucevic. That one drops for him. He was able to simply lay it in over the top of the smaller man. The Bucks have gone three of three in the second half. 
outside, Hill. And he lobs it up to the rim. And Giannis throws it down. Nice dime to the open man. George Hill, more of a combo guard making things happen right there. Pass to Caruso. Back to Levine. Here's Caruso. Checked by Hill. Now Vucevic. Five to shoot. Here's Williams. The shot no good. The Bucks go the other way with it. At the conclusion of this one, they're off to Memphis where they'll face the Grizzlies. It's the second game of three on the road. Yeah, and this speaks to how strong Giannis is. Able to still convert despite the physical defense. Chicago making some changes. Brown, he's checked in for Jones. And it's White in for Levine. Allen, he's checked in for the Bucks. And that one falls for Ana de Kumpo. Chicago has gone four of six from three-point range thus far. Timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over. Protecting the rim has to be their top objective right now. And it boils down to the question. Toughness. One team showing it, the other allowing itself to be bullied. All right, let's look back on last season for a moment. Here were your scoring leaders. Fifth on the list, Giannis Antetokounmpo. This is a guy who never took a night off. You look at his numbers and you know that he put in a tremendous effort every single game. Out to the right wing. Pass to Williams. On the arc, Antetokounmpo with the block. A defensive player of the year winner, Antetokounmpo affects so many shots winter. with his length. Two minutes. A nice shot Dante by DiVincenzo. DiVincenzo's got his second bucket of the game. Kick to the outside, heads up play. Cognizant of the entire floor. Pass to White. Antetokounmpo against Williams. Back to White. Shoots over DiVincenzo. They get it back. Here's Vucevic. Anadokounmpo with the block. With the drive. And Antetokounmpo with the stuff. They're really settling into a nice rhythm now, starting to gain the upper hand. They're playing well. They're building momentum. This is how they can turn a small lead into a big one. Here's Caruso. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. And the shot goes in. They're really looking to that inside game here in the second half, getting away from taking a bunch of threes. Here's Milwaukee. They're on a 14-4 run. 43 seconds left in the third. Hill for three. Gets the three ball to go. And the Bucks lead by 10. Long range shooting, a big part of Hill's offensive game. Pass to Vucevic. White with it. Left side, Williams. Kick out to Brown. Just five to shoot. Shoots over Portis. And that one hits the back iron. Outside, Hill. Now on to Kumpo. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. And I mean, how do you guard Giannis? When he's looking to score, sometimes you just have to foul. from Milwaukee, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Two shots. And that one falls for Antetokounmpo. And so Anadokounmpo nails both of them.
Well, through three quarters of play, down double digits. It may be difficult to overcome. Bucks ahead, up by 12. And we're coming right back after this break to get the fourth quarter started. And now let's take a listen in on head coach Mike Budenholzer. Relax. We're in good shape. Keep looking for each other. Keep coming. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may already be out of hand. Chicago has gone four of eight from three, a nice percentage. On the floor for Milwaukee starting the fourth quarter. Holiday and DiVincenzo man the backcourt. Brooke Lopez is out there with Chris Middleton. And it's Connaughton in at the three. Shot clock at five. Here's Levine for three. Ooh, Levine with another miss. And for the Bucks, they're shooting a legendary 79%. Their offense is just on a tear. Knocked loose. Pass to DiVincenzo. And here's Middleton. He's covered by Levine. Takes a 13-footer. Middleton, no good. The Bulls shooting has been good. Around 52% from the field. Oh, and a fast break for the Bucks. Here's DiVincenzo. And the shot is good on the assist by Holiday. And the Bucks lead by 14. And a closer look here at the hustle stats for Milwaukee. They've been playing such pesky defense. It's been very impressive, especially all the turnovers they've caused. Something else they've excelled at is their interior D. Their rim protection has been outstanding. How about the unselfishness of this team? Yeah, the willingness to make the next pass has this defense scrambled. Pass to Middleton. And he gets that one. Chris and this is what you want to do when you've got a big lead. You must stay aggressive. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They have came in focused and they've executed. Ball finds White. DeRozan outside. Over Middleton. And it's good. Off the back of the rim and in. You just love how reliable he is. Night in and night out, his offense is there. Pass to Holiday. Ball with the rebound. The Bulls have gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. That's his first personal foul. They'll pin that on Chris Middleton. Well, with how great DeMar DeRozan is at scoring, you know he's going to get to the line a few times every game. It's become pretty clear that if a team's looking to run a fast-paced offense, Lonzo Ball is the perfect choice at the point. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That's good from DeRozan. It does seem like Lonzo's game is suited to an up-tempo attack, Smitty. I totally agree, B.A. It gets him into his comfort zone. And when he's in a groove making plays, scoring on his own, he's a very dangerous offensive player. Williams has checked in for White. And Milwaukee also making a switch. Giannis Antetokounmpo has checked in for Connaughton. DeRozan hits them both. We've seen him put a lot of pressure on the defense and then cash in at the line. And Giannis Antetokounmpo picks up that foul. That's his third foul so far. And this kind of selflessness is great to see. Textbook positioning to draw the charge. And that was a great replay we just saw of our mobile one block. Oh, <laughs> showing no signs of giving up this lead. That block sent shockwaves into the opposition sails. Chicago has gone four of nine so far from the perimeter. Levine with it. Middleton covering. Shot by Levine, no good. Middleton against the ball. Anacumpo is doubled. And he drains another one. He's now 10 of 11 from the field. Using his size to his advantage, Giannis is a handful to deal with close to the rim. Here's Levine. He's got it. Six of ten now. 
Now that was a clever adjustment. <laughs> That was a tough shot, especially given the height disadvantage. I love the way he created space for his shot. Ball with a steal. And now the Bulls in transition. And Levine throw it down. No denying Zach Levine's hops. Flies right up and sometimes over the hoop to jam it in. His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. Yeah, obviously he had the shot well anticipated, able to shut it down with authority. Here's Anadokounmpo, and he makes it on the layup. Anadokounmpo's got 26 points. And trying to put the game away, he's been nails all evening. And he's doing it by getting to his spots and making big shots. Timeout called here. Chicago decides to talk it over. They're down by 10. A minute 35 left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. All right, we present our New Balance player of the game, Giannis Antetokounmpo. He has truly put on a show out there tonight, tearing it up on both ends of the floor. So impressive. And the other squad has looked helpless to stop it. Boy, it's not hard to be blown away by his level of play. It's never easy winning on the road, but to do it in this fashion, that's a special performance right there. Hey guys, Billy Donovan was just reviewing the plan with his team. He went after his players about their poor defense in the paint, saying, quote, you're showing no fight down there. You're letting them get any shot they want, and they're feasting on us. Show some toughness and push back, guys. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Shooting for Milwaukee, Chris Middleton at the line for two. And no good as the first free throw misses. We'll see if he can hit the second. That's good. Going one of two from the line. And that'll put him up by nine. Fourth quarter of play and over three and a half minutes have gone by now. And here's Levine. He shoots. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Levine's got 19. I like what he's doing here. Terrific efficiency scoring the basketball. And there's the lob. And it's on to Kumpo with the miss. That could have been an easy pass and finish. Not really sure what went wrong. It started off looking good, but the timing was just a little off. And sometimes that's all it takes. Levine. And he sinks it. Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. And this is why they turn to Levine. What a shot. Come through in a big way. Out of the Kumpo, outside. Holiday from long range. And that one goes. He's now recorded his fifth bucket in eight tries. Really feels like they're in control. They've got a big lead with time dwindling. Reason why they've tightened up the vice grip a little more each time up the floor. We'll see if they can close this one out. There's 31 seconds left in the fourth. And so they foul intentionally. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for the Bucks, Dante DiVincenzo. Two shots. First free throw is good, and that makes it a seven-point lead. And so both free throws good, and it's an eight-point ball game. And it's the Bulls with the ball. At this point, it just feels like it's over. They couldn't make enough plays when it mattered. Interesting game, though, in terms of some of the matchups. Just an effective shot blocker. Lopez using all of that seven feet, and he does a great job of picking his spots. Outside, DiVincenzo. Ah! 
So we see the Bucks get the win here. Exceptional effort on the road. They were ready and they were focused. Focused indeed. I mean, it takes a strong mental approach to block out the distractions. These guys stepped up 100%. All right, let's go courtside to Ali LaForce with our player of the game. Ali, it's all yours. Giannis, congratulations on the win. How does this team continue? All right, Ali, thank you. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Steve Smith, Ali LaForce, and Grand Hill, this is Brian Anderson. Thanks for being with us. We'll see you next time.